Hi everyone! This is the continuation of my UMAX playthrough of Pagodia and today's entry is map 6, Logi Sumira, which was made by Aurelius. This map is very non-linear and found in a good route and for maxing it was quite fun. You start by riding down this lift and immediately getting surrounded by everything in this area. I want to kill all the hit scantlers and then the pit kiss to get free your movement. And from this area you have two ways to go. First one is uh, behind these chain guns that I woke up just now and it allows you to progress normally through the map. And the second is to go up on the lift with the Acura Reference Hologram, which leads you to a completely optional area, but it will allow you to get early brute key from the secret. I'm going to go to this optional area in the middle of the map's progression, uh, because I find this approach to be the most consistent to max the map. I don't always clear everything in the first area right away, uh, but this time I did. Now the second fight, but first let's get that supercharge. For this fight I want to focus on imps to get space and then kill all the shotgunners, because uh, they really hurt. Uh, and meanwhile I tried not to get stuck in the group of revenants. While I'm killing the shotgunners, the revenants should infight with the hell knights and I'll just finish off where is left. I was very consistent with this strategy in my practice. To progress you need to press these two switches and deal with some newly spawned revenants and chain gunners. There's plenty of cover here, so it should not be a problem. Now just some hit scanners and one fine element with here. These two Hell Knights, uh, they are guarding the switch for the lift in central area. And this switch opens door uh, back to a central area. Now I want to clean up this area and then I'll get the first secret. And yes, this switch enables the elevator back to the starting area. We'll need it later, but I prefer to press it right away. Now, to get the rocket launcher and the first secret, you need to do this awkward jump. You can actually do it right at the start before opening this door, but I didn't really need it up until now. And this switch opens a secret berserk. I want to just take a secret without grabbing the berserk. Grabbing this plasma releases an arch vial out of these two hell nets and two remnants. I prefer to quickly kill the arch vial with plasma and then run back here and I have a convenient position for shooting rockets here. And now you can proceed for the red key fight, but I think the better route is to get the next two secrets and then go for the optional area. So I'll just grab some ammo and shoot this switch, which opens this passage. And that's where you will get the next two secrets. Pressing this yellow button activates crushes that will kill all the archwells and most of the remnants in the final stage of optional area 5. And to get to the next secret, 
we need to jump to this teleporter from the lift. And we actually teleport right to the elevator we need. This one. I get rocket launcher ready to quickly kill this Mancubus. And then just deal with the Imps and Shotgunners in this area. This switch opens the door, but it's on a timer. And here is your optional area fight. It has three stages. For the first stage, I just killed the Pain Elemental and Pinkies with rockets. Uh, and then the rest is uh, not a problem at all. Just don't get stuck in a group of imps. And the barrels allow you to blow up large groups of enemies. Now for the second stage, uh, you need to press the switch, then I want to kill this Mancubus quickly and run past him. This will allow me to release Revenants uh, for the Cyber to fight with. Also I usually kill this Chain Gunners in advance, I'm not sure why I didn't do it this time. I guess just a mistake. And that was a pretty stupid move. Thankfully Cyber did not point blank there. And I got crushed by my own crusher. But otherwise nothing terrible happened. I can now just finish off the Cyber with a super shotgun. Now these two switches open the next door and that's where you'll get the next two secrets. To open a secret passage you need to shoot this switch. And this switch opens a way back to where the plasma was. Now for the secret you need to do this platforming, then kill this revenant, and then take a teleporter behind him. For the secret fight I want uh, to immediately kill the archwild and shoot rockets until barons and cacos come close, and then I'll switch to plasma. Kill chain guns and then couples, uh, and then I'll have plenty of space to deal with barons. Now, this hidden red switch leads you to another secret. You can ride this lift up. And your reward is getting the blue key early. I don't really need it for the UMAX, but it's useful for speedrunning other categories. And now you can press the switch to open a teleporter back. We now have all the secrets and got a mega, and it's time to come back for the red key area. So, what I do for this fight? I just go forward a little to avoid chain gunners, then shoot rockets to kill Mancubus and first runner guard into the door, and then I have all the space I want. So now I can kill everything here with no need to rush.
And this area to the left allows you to get the red key uh, that is needed for the final fight. And funnily enough, the area to the right gives you red key as well, uh, you will see. So here's the first red key and now let's deal with the right side. So this teleporter brings us back to the optional crushes and also gives us the red key. I'm not sure why this particular key duplicate may be needed, uh, but well. Anyway, having 175 kills means we are done with this semi-underground building and now we can get back up and go for the final fight. But blue key means we can exit now, which I won't do, but I still want to kill this Archvile at the exit area in advance. Also the reason why I don't want to do optional area last is uh, because the Mega and the End would be wasted as we are going to get a Soul Sphere and a blue armor before the final fight. Now about the final fight. Uh, so, imps and revenants will constantly spawn from these two corridors and in the middle of the room there will be a cyber. And this restricts your movement because you don't want to be in cyber's line of sight. So, I like to keep a certain rhythm in this fight. Like shoot for rockets, switch to the other side, shoot for rockets, switch back and repeat. That way I ensure that neither of the lines of my defense are breached and that no enemies get too close. And when Archvile flies down the elevator, he becomes the priority target. And I allowed myself to get zapped here, because I don't want to lose time. Getting zapped may be a lot better than getting imps and revenants on your face, uh, because you'll just end up losing less health from a single zap. The second Archie is dealt with the same way, though this time I can combine dodging his zap with grabbing a mega. The final Archvile comes with some friends, Prime Elementals, so I shoot some rockets and then I switch to Plasma, because that's when uh, everyone is too close. But this was also the last wave of Revenants, so I won't be overwhelmed and just then clean up everything with a soup shotgun. This Baron is standing on a teleporter that will allow you to teleport a Cyber and get the final kill of the map. And that's the quote-unquote official way to get the blue key. Also eating this, I suppose, fried rice with chicken and egg gives you a supercharge. Cool. So this final fight is very generous with megas, and if it was me designing it, I think I would give the player one mega instead of two on UV. Uh, but well, that wouldn't probably be in line with the difficulty of the rest of the world. Uh, I'm not complaining either way. So yeah, that's it, uh, map 6 done, and this is actually not my first exit, uh, in my first attempt I've beaten this map, but I forgot to get the crusher secret before the respective fight, so I have redone it, because I kinda wanted to show this particular route. Anyway, that was a great experience for me. This map felt rather overwhelming when I played it blind, but after you learn the layout and all the secrets and make a proper route, it's not that bad. Still, uh, a lot of very interesting fights, which I very much enjoyed. Also great visuals, and I especially like how tech-based textures and outdoors nature textures are uh, mixed together. And yet again, very cool MIDI choice. This is uh, MIDI by Rebix, uh, I like it a lot. And also just like for the map 5, I made a speedrun for US speed category for this map and the route is changed completely for the UV speed. That might be interesting to compare, so I'll leave a link to the run in the description. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in map 7.